Broadcasting live from the Georgia World Congress Center for FinTech South 2022, it's time for Atlanta Business Radio. Brought to you by Atlanta Blockchain Center. Now, here's your host. Lee Cantor here, back at FinTech South 2022, right in the heart of Innovation Alley. So excited to be talking to Larry Williams, the President and CEO of TAG. Welcome, Larry. Great. It's great to be here. Thank you all for having me. So what do you think? FinTech South, back Live, in person, people, you know, humans, everywhere. You, you know, you get to see people's teeth again, and I'm just delighted to see that. Everybody's – the energy here, you can just feel it. It's palpable. It's just people are excited. Uh, the interactions, the business that's happening here, it's really what this is all about. You know, in TAG, whenever we started uh, producing uh, FinTech South five years ago, this is our fifth annual um, this is what we envisioned it would be. Uh, we did a great job with the virtual pa- platform for the last two years, but it's great to be back in person and great to make those human connections. So um, when you're planning around an event like FinTech South, it's a combination, obviously, education, there's panels, uh, there's networking. Uh, we also have the whole innovation challenge, folks. you got the startups and the matching with the enterprise how do you even kind of begin an event like this to make sure that all of those constituents are getting what they need? Well, if you think about it, it really does bring together all of the elements of the ecosystem. So everything, as you mentioned, from the startup. So we really work through our FinTech Society at TAG. And so they um, really help start us at a very early um, stage. And really, it's an all-year, it's a year-round process. Mm -hmm. So if we start to think about the the innovation challenge, getting those startups, because there's a whole mentorship program that goes along with this. It's not just the award on stage that we see here. Right, you see the end result. There's been been weeks or months ahead of time. Months ahead. Same with the advance awards and thinking about who are those companies that have really been accelerating and moving the ecosystem. These are all important parts of what we're doing. Um, And then it's the professional development, the trends, the knowledge, news you can use that people can really go back and say, hey, this is what the trends of fintech are. This is what I can apply back to my business. Uh, Even the thought sharing um, and the thought leadership that goes into it. Now, one thing you didn't mention is also the workforce. You know, we've had lots of students here. We've had over 30 students here that have really, um, that are going through the FinTech Academy and other things to prepare that next generation of, of leaders in our FinTech community. And that's a big innovation to have an academy that is just, has a curriculum around FinTech. There's probably not a lot of those in other places in the country, right, that are so specific to FinTech and to grow your own talent because the need is so great. We have to do something. You can't sit here and wait and hope that this solves itself. You know, we were really pioneers in this and led the way. There's a lot that have popped up around the country that like to say they, uh, they like to say me too. Mm-hmm. But I can really say that we really started it here. Our companies, our university system of Georgia really got behind it. We moved fast. We stood it up and it's doing a great job. Right. And so can you share a little bit about how that works? Like, um, how did, um, you know, how does a, a student get involved with that and, and to take their career to a new level? Yeah, it's really about getting it's the main doorways through the university system of Georgia. So any of the schools, um, although it's based at uh, Georgia State University, other students at other universities can access it. So it's really just, you know, look for the FinTech Academy, you know, and go to the website and uh, it'll direct you on how to get engaged. Now, you mentioned five years ago the event began. Um, and even in the short period of time of five years, the FinTech kind of brand has expanded, right? And the fintech is touching so many more things than it did five years ago. You know, fintech <laughs> touches everything. Mm-hmm. As I like to say, everybody likes to get paid <laughs> on time, every time. And as we go more and more to a digital platform, um, fintech is really at the center of it. And it really does touch every industry because there's no industry that there's not some type of a trans- financial transaction happening. Right. So it's been great because we've been talking about everything here at FinTech South and our breakouts and on main stage. We've been talking about diversity and inclusion, 
financial literacy. We've been talking about the fan experience and, you know, you know what's going on whenever you have a large event at Brave Stadium or over at Mercedes-Benz Stadium with MLS. All of these things and this financial transaction, this intersection with the point of sale, all affects that fan experience or the customer experience if we're talking about retail or right. others. So all of this has been part of it. And so what we've been seeing, especially what was accelerated over the last two years, is this idea of frictionless payments. Right. You know, how do you start to make it even easier? So, you know, Amazon makes it pretty easy, you know, to hit the you know, one-click button. But you got to think about now where we're going with wearables, with uh, your digital wallet. The adoption of these types of tools have accelerated greatly. And that's what we're going to consider continue to see happen and just more adoption. You know, the younger generation, they're not carrying cash anymore. Right. Um, you know, they're not doing it at all. They don't want it. Um, yeah, they don't walk into banks. They don't walk mm-hmm. into banks and they don't want to. And, you know, and part of it is um, when you think of the brick and mortar side of it, a lot of uh, people say that people don't need banks. They need services. And so you'll see the banking models uh, starting to evolve, that it really is service-focused about mm-hmm. what is it that we can do and how people can access them in, the, in, a, in a, um, a very easy and convenient way. Now, the big, pond, the big uh, uh, opening right now and the big opportunity is really we've done a lot with consumer uh, payments, but it's really moving to business-to-business. So business-to-business is still predominantly done by checks. So remember a check? When's the last time you wrote a check? Right. You know, but business is still done that way. And so if we think about the evolution of where um, payments are going, fintech is going to be able to facilitate more business-to-business interactions. So now as the leader of TAG, uh, TAG touches all these kind of uh, technology special interests. How are you seeing that evolve over the years of your leadership in terms of there's it, there's many more things that are falling under the umbrella of technology? Like at one point, like you just said, everybody's a fintech company now, whether they want it or not. Everybody's been a technology company, whether they want it to be or not. Yeah. You, you know, that's been an evolution that's happened. You know, every company is a technology company, even if it's not uh, something that's, you know, a recognized brand. But, you know, Home Depot, UPS. Coca-Cola, all technology companies, because that's how we do business, and that's how we connect with our customers, and that's how we grow our businesses in many, many different ways. So, um, you know, I'm just proud of, you know, TAG, of really being able to think about the things and the next, you know, what's the next generation of innovation? What is the next thing that's coming around? You know, whether it be blockchain or whether it be evolution in things about sales leadership, because people, we sell differently in the technical sales. The marketing of how you market and go to markets very, very important now. And, you know, and so these things, marketing technology is a big core competency here in Georgia. If you think about what David Cummings has done, um, you know, um, with Pardot, what's going on with Salesloft and lots of other companies that are really driving that, that's an important part of it. Blockchain and really thinking about what blockchain is doing, inclusive of, but not exclusive to cryptocurrency. You know, right now, I think you've heard us say a million times, the 70% of all debit, credit, and reward card transactions are processed through Georgia. Today, we can say that 80% of global commercial cryptocurrency transactions are processed through Georgia. Wow. And so that's us staying at the head of innovation. Now, the other thing that's similar to this is um, cybersecurity. You know, cybersecurity, we've been in cybersecurity for decades. And I'm going back to mainframes, to um, network, and to um, um, Internet security, things that we've done through Georgia Tech with the Department of Defense. And now we've been at the forefront. We've been able to create great, great companies like ISS that became part of IBM, SecureWorks that have been part of Dell, AirWatch, you know, that grew up and is now part of VMware. But it is the company that it was the first mobile security application uh, that Apple led onto the iPhone platform. That enabled people to choose an iPhone. And if you remember, the BlackBerry. Right. BlackBerry didn't make it. No. And that was all, you know, generated out of here. But that it's really to illustrate that we were able to go from you know, the, the enterprise type of security all the way up to mobile phones and build it here because we built, we knew every iteration of the evolution of the technology. And so we're seeing that with fintech, digital health. 
you know, we got a broad portfolio here, and that's good for our economy. Right. right. That's why I think that the Georgia economy is always so strong because the diversity of the industries allow us if there's a downturn somewhere something there's an upturn somewhere else and and a lot of times are it's here still in the state of georgia you always want a balanced portfolio right exactly you know so that's more resilient and so we've got a great portfolio here that makes us resilient and uh, so it's a great time to be here and it's important that uh, folks like you that are leading a community uh, of people in technology that you're part of it and that we have the public in the private intersection where everybody is being so collaborative and everybody's helping each other, this environment is what allows Georgia to be as successful as it is. You know, it's it's hard for new people to believe that this is true, but as people get into this market, they really do start to learn that people here want you to be successful. Right. And people will help you. And it's many collaborative. Times it's it, collaborative, and many times those are competitors. But they said they know that your success is our success. Right. And so I think that's a great uh, a great community. And people are always amazed that there's something like tag. That, who, do you mean I can just, you know, get plugged in immediately? Yes, you can. Right. And it's and it doesn't matter what niche you're in in technology. There's a space for you. That's exactly right. And it opens the doors to many, many other organizations and other ways to get networked or get support. Well, Larry, thank you so much uh, for sharing your story today. If somebody wants to connect on uh, at TAG, what's the website? Uh, at TAGonline.org. Good stuff. Well, Larry, thank you again for sharing your story. You're doing important work, and we appreciate well, you. We appreciate all y'all doing. Thanks for being here. All right. This is Lee Cantor. We'll be back in a few at FinTech South 2022. This episode has been brought to you by Atlanta Blockchain Center, the catalyst for Atlanta's emergence as the premier blockchain innovation hub globally through cultivating entrepreneurship, inclusivity, and education. To learn more, go to atlblockchaincenter.com.